Vaster is a dark comic southern drama about love and art and the power of women, because you know we have a lot of that. This all-female drama explores the meaning and purpose of art and the struggle of the lost and tortured souls that seek to create it. It is running at the Phoenix Theater starting Thursday. Mackenzie Ross spoke to the stage manager about this production. The Phoenix Theater is back and bigger than ever with the production of Alabaster. We're going to get a sneak peek. Let's head to the stage right now to talk to the managing stage director. Let's go. Hey, Delia, thank Hi. you so much for having us. Okay, oh, we're so yeah. pumped for this production, and I, I can see they're still working on the set as, we're, as we speak. So tell us what we can expect from Alabaster. Right, so Alabaster was originally slated to be in March of 2020, so we're really excited to still be able to produce this show. And it's a, a four-person cast, all women, and it really deals with trauma and how we can come out of that trauma with hope and renewal and, you know, ultimately find love. And I think that's just so great, especially coming out of the pandemic. I feel like that's what we all need. How do you go about selecting the specific production that will just be the perfect fit at the perfect time? So it's a long process. Our artistic director is always reading plays, always looking to see what's on Broadway, what are new shows coming up. And Phoenix in particular is dedicated to contemporary shows. So brand new works, world premieres, Indiana premieres, and Alabaster in particular is a rolling world premiere with the National New Play Network. I love it. And the Phoenix Theater is so cool. And you have been open about three years now, is that correct? Yeah, in, okay. this, in our new facility. 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 We've been open since uh, May of 2018. Slight pause for the pandemic. Sure. Um, but we are 38 years old. We used to be right off of Mass Ave. And um, we just really can't wait to get audiences back in here and do what we do best, live theater. Live theater. And it's happening Thursday. Let's take a look around set. You know, people don't realize you're working to the last minute here. Yeah. So tell us about what you have created for this specific production. So what you're seeing is the set designed by our production manager, who's also a set designer, okay. Zach Hunter. And this show was originally supposed to be in our small black box theater. So oh. he took and adapted his design to fit in this proscenium theater. And so what you're seeing yeah, is a, a farm in Alabaster, Alabama Ooh. that was hit by a tornado. Oh. So we have these elements hanging from the... Uh, from the sky coming in <laughs> showing kind of that disaster that was caused by the tornado. I see that. I love this. This is so visual and so stunning. What's something the audience needs to look out for when they come and attend? So we have instituted a vaccination and a mask policy so that yeah. we can keep everybody as safe as possible, mm -hmm. including our actors who will be up here on stage without wearing masks so they can really give the best performance possible. Perfect. We're looking forward to that. And where can everybody get tickets and more information? So at phoenixtheater.org we have individual tickets for this show as well as season ticket packages if you'd like to come to all of our five shows this year. Fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time. And of course. And we cannot wait for Thursday. It's going to be fantastic. Great. Thank you. you know, we love a little girl power. Again, the show begins on Thursday and will be on stage at the Phoenix Theater through the end of the month.